Do you like enemies to lovers? Do you like swoony characters? I've got the book for you. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a book review for the new release Makeup Breakup by Lily Menon. This comes out today, February 2nd. I was so kindly sent the ARC by the publisher, so thank you so much to St. Martin's Press. This made my whole day and I loved reading this book. So Lily Menon is the pen name of YA author Sonia Menon. This, she did this as a way to differentiate between her adult books and her young adult books. I absolutely adored this. So this follows two main characters, Annika and Hudson. Annika has an app called Makeup where it basically gives users a second chance at their romance. On the other hand, we have Hudson, who has an app, Breakup, which has been termed the Uber for breakups, which Annika is not a fan of. Annika and Hudson have a history. We don't really know that much about it going in, but we do know that Annika is not a fan of Hudson. He is her worst enemy. She thinks that he stole her idea and put a twist on it. And one day, he moves into the office next door to hers, and as you can imagine, she is quite thrilled about that. I love Annika. She is very smart, determined, she's a hard worker, and she is so passionate about true love, second chance, and this app that she has created for failing relationships and as a way to give them a new chance. I love seeing a woman in tech and she's the owner of her own company. So that was just so nice to see. And she also has her best friend June who helps her with the coding and the app development. And they have a great friendship. On the other hand, Hudson is very ambitious. He's playful and he's charismatic and just swoony. And he has really just blown up with breakup. It just hit the ground running. Basically, throughout most of this book, Annika and Hudson are preparing presentations for the upcoming epic investment pitch contest. And the winner of that contest will get $500,000 capital to go toward their apps and their businesses to help move it forward and go to the next level. So Annika and Hudson have quite the rivalry. I really enjoyed seeing how they kind of got back at each other while at the same time kind of starting to relive their history as we find out more about it. Annika also has a great relationship with her father. That was a really nice, unexpected bit of side story, even though it ties in with the main plot. Annika and her dad are really close. Annika's mom died right after she was born from cancer, so it's always just been the two of them. I was super close with my dad before he died, so this book really hit home for me, and I just loved seeing their relationship together. They do have a little bit of tension because Annika's dad thinks that she would be more successful as a doctor, seeing as he is a premier anesthesiologist and is extremely successful. He thinks that she's just going to chase her dreams into bankruptcy and she's not going to have a secure future. So he is constantly trying to push her into med school in his mind to help set her up for success. The relationship between Annika and Hudson is lovers to enemies to lovers. We find out at the beginning of the book that Annika and Hudson met in Las Vegas at some kind of conference and they had a whirlwind type romance over the period of a week and then they separated for some reason that we don't know at first 
thinking they're never going to see each other again. Since Annika thinks Hudson stole her idea, she is set on revenge, and she is not his biggest fan. I really enjoyed seeing their dynamic as they kind of get back at each other, and it slowly starts turning more into flirty, playful dynamics. I love the way Lily Menon wrote this romance. It was the perfect pacing. It didn't feel rushed, and they already had a bit of a history, and you could feel that tension at the beginning. So it all felt really realistic, and it had me on the edge of my seat, and I was actually cheering at one point because, oh, so good. But Hudson is so swoony, and the way she wrote him is fantastic. So on top of this being a really lighthearted rom-com type book, there are a few heavier topics in here that blend in really well to the main plot line. I love that this isn't just a bubblegum romance, like everything is good and there's a little drama and then it's happily ever after. Things happen and I really liked that aspect of it and it really showed us how the characters reacted in these situations and how that affects each other and how they grow as a person. So I had a great time reading this. I binged it in pretty much a day and the day of release when I'm filming this I listened to the last bit on audiobook and I can say that the narrator does a really good job of narrating and they put just the right amount of tension and nuance in their voice so that you're hooked and you have to find out what happens next and you're just cheering for them to get together and things happen and they don't right away. So good. It was just so well done. So like I said, even though there were a few cliches, didn't take away from my enjoyment of the story and I just thought it was exactly what I needed in this moment. At the end, I was just smiling and I just adored it. So I gave it five out of five stars and I do highly recommend it. She is a fantastic person and one of the sweetest people you will ever talk to. And I'm really glad that I liked this and that I can support her as an author. So definitely go out and buy this or get it from your library. I will leave a link down below to bookshop.org and that is a great website because it's an alternative to Amazon and each purchase goes to support a local bookstore. Have you read this or are you planning to read it? If so, let me know. Or if you just want to let me know you're here but you don't have anything to add, drop a red or pink heart since we're talking about a romance. As always, if you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.